when installing Premiere Pro FX, make sure you use the proper and most updated ZXP installer from AE Scripts. Do not use the Adobe ZXP installer. So to delete the preference file, if you have a preference file corruption in Windows, before you launch Premiere Pro, hold down the Alt button, select the Adobe Premiere Pro icon. It will ask you if you want to reset your preferences. Hit OK. In Mac, if you want to delete your Premiere Pro preference file, just hold down the Option key while launching Premiere Pro. It's going to ask you if you want to reset preferences. Hit OK. And this should fix any potential corruption of preference files for Adobe. To delete media cache inside Premiere Pro, in Windows, go up top to Edit. Go down to Preferences, Media Cache. And in our Media Cache category, we want to hit the Delete button here. Hit OK. And that's going to delete any old Media Cache buildup. To delete Media Cache on a Mac for Premiere Pro, go up top to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Media Cache. In our Media Cache category, we're going to hit the Delete. Hit OK. And that should help clear up any issues where we're placing down an effect and the audio is not showing up. And if you ever want to make sure if your extension installed in the proper location on a Windows or Mac, when inside Windows, you can go to your C drive, program files, common files, Adobe, CEP extensions. And on our Mac, we're going to go to our library, application support, Adobe, CEP extensions. And that's where our Premiere Pro FX extension should sit.